All right, well, th thank you guys for joining me. Do you want to say goodbye, guys? Goodbye, guys. Bye. <laughs> Cheers, Bye -bye. guys. Thank you so much for watching. See you later. That'll do us. Done. Nice. Wow. Sweet. Wow, that was sick, Nas. Awesome. <laughs> Good for you, man. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, it's it's One it's end. really quite nice. It's it's quite nice. I gotta so. step my game up. I'm the only one. I'm the only lonely one. <laughs> Are you the only single one here now? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Damn. Is that is that by choice? Are you or are you just a stone cold player? No, it's involuntary. Yeah. He's in, he's involuntary. I'm an, I'm an so, incel. <laughs> <laughs> he's he's waiting for the government to allot him a woman. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, that's what I was waiting on for the longest time too. No, so. I don't try too hard actually. Uh, it's not it's like, a priority for me like okay. it is for you. But you you live in a big city, right? You have a good job. You go to concerts and stuff. You like snowboard and crap like that. How the hell are you single? Like I said, I don't really put myself out there like that. Okay. I don't know. It's not really a priority for me at this point in my life. I don't know. I just kind of want to enjoy my. Not that you can't enjoy your life and your. I was gonna say. Weather, but, but, you know, want to be well, able the, to do the, my own thing. Well, the thing that I think separates me from you, or one of the many things I'm sure, but like I, I'm like not emotionally or physically capable of like a casual relationship. Like I, I just like I'm I'm not. So. I get like it's that. like any any kind of relationship like that I'm going to be in has to be like significant and serious, and I'm and I'm sure you're probably capable of casual relationships if I had to guess. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I'd say so. <laughs> yeah, so like I'm just I'm just not. I, I am absolutely not. So I'm the same. Yeah, you um, need to you need to love someone to be with them, right? Well, love is a really strong word, but I, I definitely have to have like a, a, a an emotional yeah, yeah, connection yeah, yeah, yeah. and bond with somebody to sure, to, sure, to sure. really even find them attractive. Honestly, to find anybody attractive, I have to, I have to. Oh, okay. So that you, way. you're you're the same as me. There's a, there's a name for this. It's like demisexual or something. Yeah, yeah. It is from what I yeah yeah, 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 it's it's pretty common. Oh wow. Well, I don't, I don't, I don't know if it's if it's if it's common. But I mean, heck, like more gonna, common than you think, right? Yeah, are we talking about sexuality in the after show? I mean, yeah, yeah, it's it. like we suddenly but, just brought <laughs> show guys after like, dark. But like the thing that <laughs> separates it is, like, I feel like a lot of people are like, like they'll still have that kind of sexual attraction, but they're like suppressing it out of fear or whatever. But like, I think the more demisexual thing is like is an absence of that, right? Like, like I can know someone is attractive because I can yeah. look at them and see features that yeah, other yeah, people yeah. would find attractive. But like, am I attracted to them? Like, no. like I, I could watch like like the Olympics is happening and I'm watching like you know women beach ball or whatever, and I'm like hell yeah, but but you know you don't. Demi don't know, sexual... like, see, my reaction to when I when I hell see yeah. women's volleyballs <laughs> is holy cow, they are all so fit. Wow. Yeah, that. Yeah, like, yeah. Sure, that's what I mean, right? Like. Like they are in such great shape. They they are those those they're beautiful women, right? Yes. I've like, never once watched beach volleyball and went, hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'm expressing it in a bad maybe, way. Yes. Yeah, maybe we're more monkey brain than than you are. Like I like I, I like I feel like there's just there's just a part of my brain that is like 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 I'm missing the monkey brain part of of my my brain if that makes any sense and that i mean when you think about it too like that's the primary like drive for uh like a lot of men to get into relationships and interact with women is just monkey brain need nut now you know <laughs> like, like and when and when you're missing that element of your brain and your person like that could make it harder to even harder to put yourself out there like i i feel like a, a lot of men probably overcome their insecurities for the nut you know when you don't <laughs> and when, and when you Everybody don't desire the nut you have nothing to <laughs> propel yourself over the insecurities so it's like you just stay buried in the insecurities because you don't even want the nut like you're not out for the nut so <laughs> see like it, all digging around for the nut <laughs> i i i get like like the the, the, the putting the, the the sort of the label on it of demisexuality it seems like that as i've looked it up is people who only feel a sexual attraction to another person if um they've got an emotional like connection right so yeah. does, is yeah. that like is that 
you look at you know a hot lady and be like a hot I feel, lady <laughs> i feel i feel no attraction whatsoever like yeah what are, what's the question yeah, yeah. <laughs> is that, like, is that... Yeah. Like, okay, okay so so this is a thing i've talked about a few times right I and believe... nobody ever believes me when i say this porn does nothing for me oh wow. really do you, have, do you have that nos um it Okay, we're talking about this. Um, <laughs> this, is, this really like, is podcast so, after so dark. Normal pornography, like normal, doesn't. Um, like there's 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 more. <laughs> hold up. Hold up. <laughs> okay. Like like two people having sex is what I mean. Like, but if there but if there's stuff that's more like, I don't know. I guess like emotional, if that makes any sense. Like, like um. Like solo like, women category, like that, you know, that can work for me well enough right, to get the job right. done. Like it's it's not something that I like particularly uh, do or watch often. Um, sure. Okay. Yeah, more romantic or intimate. Yeah, there's yeah, probably yeah, yeah, yeah. a better way to put it because you can kind of. I, I don't know. You it's it's easier to make that leap uh, to put yeah, yourself like in those like, shoes. Okay. Like have you know like women's like romantic books. Have yeah, you ever, like, like tried Daniel reading Steel. those sort of things? Uh, like a no. sexual, sort of, like, Fifty Shades of Grey, but, like, not shit? That <laughs> no, sort of I, ha I okay. have not. Okay, that would probably work, because, like, I like that stuff. Oh, okay. Hmm. But, yeah. Now we're talking about some really weird stuff, right? As, yeah, Josh, 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 we Josh, yes, Josh. This is, Josh, this is a new territory for the podcast, the recommending this. pornography. <laughs> yes, I'm going to start reading some Fabio or whatever. whatever those, those. <laughs> um... <laughs> But yeah, like I mean, but seriously, like there's there's no like drive, like in that manner, right? It's just like I like I perceive, like I understand that this person is attractive, but yeah. like I'm I'm not attracted to them. If that makes any sense? I get what you mean. I I, I so. try to f I find it difficult to like put myself on this. Like I don't think I'm fully, you know one way and not fully the other way either so it's difficult to say you know a label on demisexuality or whatever the word is for your more standard sexuality or whatever like <laughs> i don't well i would boring. i would think that i would was, think the real deciding like, factor is like do you feel like you would be capable of a casual sexual relationship uh, yeah, 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 yeah yeah no i would like i i I don't like use a label or whatever. It's like not as simple as that. But yeah, like <laughs> yeah. like like one night stands, like going to a nightclub and just bringing someone home, having sex, and then leaving in the morning. But that seems crazy to me, right? Yeah, now. it does to me as well, actually. Well, it doesn't yeah. even just seem crazy for me. Like I like I I would not be physically capable of that. I don't like, think I, I would. I, I wouldn't want I would, to do yeah. that. I couldn't. Do I wouldn't that. be physically capable of being aroused in that situation. <laughs> oh, RDT is here, just like what the hell? And RDT is <laughs> RDT is the ultimate alpha Chad. He <laughs> he brings home women every night. That's <laughs> definitely not true. <laughs> <laughs> you certainly have the capability to. I, 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 uh, are you like us, RDT, or are you the, the more standard, normal, like... I, I mean, I could definitely find myself getting attached, maybe possibly, like, too attached, but I also have the capacity to have just a casual, right, you know, okay. one-night relationship. I know? couldn't. <laughs> Semi, semi-demisexual. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's me. Yeah, in a, between the it's two, a terrible, it's a terrible term, but it's the only one I knew, like the only name I knew for this. And, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Huh. I mean, it, it, interesting podcast after dark. Yeah, I've, I mean, I've never, I've never talked about that on stream. I'm or for podcast. Marvels. I, mean, I, think <laughs> I think it's just a social norm thing, right? Like everybody assumes everybody is like the total opposite, but it's probably like everyone's somewhere on a scale right like, yeah yeah i guess that's true yeah. <laughs> i just went yeah. to marbles and as you went <laughs> everybody's on a scale right and then marbles it's in it like a an eye of the storm it's called so it's it's a um it get a storm and it just went <laughs> with thunder after you said those words <laughs> it's on a scale I, would, <laughs> I mean and i would assume like a lot of people are uh, um I, I would assume that people like there, there's a difference in being uncomfortable with that type of situ like relationship and being like physically incapable of that type of relationship if that if that makes any sense i think that's kind of where the 
the line yeah, is probably I, get, I don't think I would be physically incapable of it, I suppose. I would be uncomfortable and I wouldn't want to do it, but I would probably be able to. Yeah. But I wouldn't seek it out. I've never s yeah, sought that yeah, out exactly. before. Yeah, exactly. Um, <laughs> is, so... is this going to be in the podcast? What are you going to do with this? <laughs> you can you, the podcast after shit. I was considering putting it up as like a little highlight of like podcast after dark. <laughs> I have a casual relationship yeah, yeah, yeah. with this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> oh, DT uh, with the 63 months. Thank you, man. Well, yeah, so that's, uh, you know, that that's me. There we go. Um, I've never been open about that before. I think that's probably my... My I mean, I've equation never. to anxiety for you, probably. Like, I've just never shared that before. Yeah, the, the thing so. that annoys me is when I talk about it, people don't believe me. Oh, well, I like, fully like believe. Like, when, when I was, like, a teenager growing up or whatever, it was just like, oh, it was all the porn you're watching, Josh, or whatever. It's just like, I don't know what I mean. Yeah, I, I, never, I never said no to that question, mind. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, like, yeah, to, yeah um... Tony always used to say something back to to me at, um, at school. It was always like, you're always looking for wife material like, when looking for a girlfriend. It's like, you're always trying yeah. to wife someone up. It's like, yeah, I guess. Like, I didn't know it at the time, but like, yeah, I suppose I was kind of, yeah, yeah. I was looking well, for the entire purpose. <laughs> I wasn't really waiting. I wasn't really thinking, well, oh, no, I'll just no, go no, with someone for the sake people, of it. Not, like, like if you know, if, you, you if, gotta, if they weren't right, I was just I wouldn't I was like kind of not interested at all. Yeah, like most people in school would just have a girlfriend, just you know, for the sex or whatever. Yeah, right? like, yeah like, just have someone to spend time with for the time, you know. Like it's, you know, <clears> but, but that's not yeah. it's not what I'm interested in or hmm. looking for, and you know, and, and like I was really stuck in like the my negative <laughs> thought process that I had that was unhealthy was. Um, like like it can it really felt hopeless to me because i feel like that i am a way that is like so deeply opposite f from the way that the world like functions right like with how I relationships are acquired and gained and everything like that you know it's like you you know start a dating app go go out to whatever uh come back home sleep with them maybe they call you back maybe not who knows maybe you call them back who knows what like i don't i don't really get how i i don't, I don't get it like it's not something that i can insert myself into you know <laughs> figuratively so, and literally <laughs> figuratively and literally literally yes so so it's like it can just it could just feel hopeless like it, it felt hopeless He's for a me scumbag. He's an so, absolute scumbag. yeah i get that it's uh, interesting. I've never spoken about any of this kind of stuff on on a stream or podcast, mm. like anything. Well, I, th so I think honestly, I mean, it's interesting. As my I, mental I find health it. Is a... Go ahead, sorry. I'm, I was I'm just going to say, I find it you know interesting and fun to talk about mm. something a bit different for once. Yeah, hey, cool. see, this is why you should watch Joshua's streams. I talk about stuff like this all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Very well, in tune happy. with your sexuality <laughs> to talk about it on streams. <laughs> well, whatever. <laughs> Yeah, I, I mean, it's, it's it's stuff like that's important to talk about and explore as I, as I become more mentally healthy. You know, it's like there's there's nothing to be ashamed of or, or whatever. You know, it's just a topic. It's a personal topic that should be talked about. With you know. it's, yeah, it's just a social stigma thing. Like people ask me yeah. how much I earn or whatever. I open up the Twitch analytics and read a number out loud. Like, <laughs> yeah. Well, yes. Yeah. Same for me. Me. Me yeah. too. Yeah. I think I've talked but, about that before um, on like YouTube and stuff. Yeah, it's, it's just, just kind of like things. I think the the older I get, at least the less I kind of am bothered about not talking. You know, I like I'm I'm okay talking about stuff like this. And then and then heck, like the like this this the scary door that is opened for me <laughs> through through that uh, process and uh, like thing is like all the people that I have been attracted to so far are women, but is that because I'm straight or is that because it just happens to be coincidence and I connect with women better who knows <laughs> I don't know <laughs> so I mean other than just like labeling it yourself does it matter well no again that, that's 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 yeah. Yeah. yeah theoretically yeah, that, 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 if you it doesn't if you, matter but it's but it's a thought process to explore and think sure about. Yeah, yeah. yeah I mean yeah if you're largely attracted to people on an emotional level theoretically it wouldn't matter like what what their yeah. sexuality would be 
straight gear or whatever. Yeah. Theoretically. Yeah. But, you yeah, know, for, for me, it was like, maybe maybe this helps you, Nos, but for me, it was very obvious that I was straight. Like, I, I did not want to, like... Like, I, I have lots of male friends, but I have never had thoughts of, like, oh, I, I want to spend my life with this person, right, you know? Like, yeah. So... Well, I mean, but, but, then, but I've never... I mean, I've had male friends, too, but I've never, like... I've never been able to deeply emotionally connect with a man... Oh, okay, okay. ...like, no, like I... I can women, and I don't know if that's from, you know... Like, I was raised by a single mother and only had women in my life for the majority of it, or if it's, you know, and I, or if I have deep-seated abandonment issues from my father. We don't know. <laughs> but, uh, Let's you save know. that for the next podcast. Yeah. <laughs> the next podcast men. after dark. <laughs> Kill all men. Oh. Uh. <sighs> Man. Well, this was fun. So, um, <laughs> this was fun. <laughs> yeah, for, uh, no, sorry, sorry, RDT. <laughs> for, for being a for being a short podcast, you guys really uh, we'll we'll ramble on. <laughs> <laughs> well, jo Josh, I, I I didn't know that about you, and I really appreciate you uh, talking to me about that. That makes me feel a lot less alone. Thank yeah, you. Sure, it's fine. Whatever. <laughs> I don't know. Like I'm on I'm on the side of like you know I don't. <laughs> I don't care, right? Like, it's just, I'm just oh, the that's like your like, side whatever. on most topics. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's sure. It's like, but like, I, but I mean, I care for my own personal well-being to know that, like, you know, I'm not as alone in the way that I am as as I think. I mean, that's yeah, okay, kind of the sure. whole purpose of the internet because nobody I've ever talked to in real life has had these like these overwhelming like. Or haven't that I have. admitted them to you. At yeah, least. yeah haven't yeah, had a discussion yeah. with yeah. someone about it. Yeah. Hmm. Like usually, well, I get I get I'm sorry to cut this off. But That's I all right. Have to leave. Enjoy, Bye. enjoy looking after your nephew. Yeah, yes. I'll try my best. Fight. <laughs> <Bye. laughs> yeah. Uh, yes. Yeah. So yeah, from my perspective, it was like I didn't care if anyone was like me. I just knew what I was like, and it was whatever. I don't. Yeah. Care. I don't care. <laughs> Well, I, I mean, for most things, I, I feel like I kind of feel similar. But, like, in terms of relationships or whatever, like, you kind of have to care what yeah, other people think because maybe, you're, other people is what you're wanting, you know? Yeah, maybe it's different because I've been in a long-term relationship, right? So Yeah, yeah, and I, I never have. have. Like, I, I understand have a, what yeah, you're saying. This is going to be, this is, I have a feeling that this is going to be a long-term relationship. But so. it's like that feeling of you, you're... There might be what? You know, why are you not like every the way that the world expects you to be, sort of thing? Like, yeah, it, it's nice to have a discussion with someone who feels the same way. So you're like, oh, <clears> there's <throat> someone else who who is like that too. Like, I think yeah, the world's but, becoming a little bit more accepting of that now yeah. these days as well, which is good. <laughs> I, I like how it's like five white men talking about how accepting the world's becoming. Well, yeah. that's <laughs> fair. Well, yeah. <laughs> more accepting doesn't we're necessarily in, we're mean... We're in the fucking foothills of this mountain, all right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I think our problems are very, very shallow, guys. We might have gotten to, like, base camp of Everest or something. There's still the mountain to climb. <laughs> Not even hey, the base camp. Not even the base we're camp. We're on no. the flight. Four we're straight on the flight white men to and Everest. one questioning. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> one questioning. Uh, yeah. Five straight white men. Even yeah, we're like the 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 worst of the worst kind of people. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Me and Zexy like, joke about that sometimes. Like man, inclusion is important, guys. Did you know that? Right. Like, <laughs> <laughs> so we've discovered that I'm semi demisexual. <laughs> I mean, I really, that's I, that's the decision you have to make if that's a label you I, want to apply. I really hope you put that in your Twitter bio. <laughs> that would be amazing. <laughs> Change my Twitter bio. Semi-demisexual. Yeah, that would be amazing. Credit to Flaming for coming up with it. <laughs> uh... I was completely silent throughout that because I was struggling with my fucking connection. It was all over the place. Oh, no. I kept leaving and joining Discord. Like, oh, no. Sorry yeah. about that. Yeah. Good old connection. Should that be a command? Well. I don't know if that should be a command. Raving, Raving says, do we know that Hammer isn't gay? I'm not. I'm not gay. But <laughs> I have had feelings towards men before, so... 
I've s I can see men and go, fucking hell. Look at that. But I wouldn't want to be with a man, you know? Right. Mm. Me, me, and Emma, me and Emma have this fun thing where it's just like, I, I, I'm learning what's attractive about men. Like, because I don't intuitively know. I have to, like, ask her. It's like, so I see a guy. And I'm like, is, is he attractive, Emma? And she has to, like, tell me if he is or not, if they are or not. Um, I've learned that, like, big chins and stuff are attractive for some reason. It doesn't make any sense to me. But... A jawline. A jawline. Yeah, a jawline. Yeah, a jawline. It's like, jawline. Like, I've heard that expression, but I didn't know what it meant, right? And I have to, like, ask her. So, like, I, I they... feel like the, the, the men that I see that I am like, hey, that's an attractive man are just, like, better versions of me. If that makes any sense, just like slimmer, better is, jawline versions yeah. of me. Is is that just like projection though? Like you want Probably. to be that? Yeah, yeah. That's, oh, that's the thing with that's 100%. the thing with mine as well. It's more like it's more envy than anything else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's like fuck. He's good looking. God damn it! Why am I like that? <laughs> Fuck's sake! <laughs> yeah, I'm totally clueless when it comes to that. To be honest. Yeah, I, I like asking him other questions. It's like. Just a random guy. Yeah. Just, mm, is, is that man sexy? Is that <laughs> man attractive? What about him? What about him? What about Welcome him? To Marty P. What the yeah, fuck? Yeah, he didn't even finish, did he? <laughs> well, podcast after dark, episode one. Episode two coming next week, next month. Oh, what are we, what are we gonna talk about next talk month? Talk about um sex. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. What's your favorite okay. position, guys? <laughs> <laughs> next time, next time. Next time. We need to build up to that. Do one. some homework, right? And then we'll talk about it next time. <laughs> do some homework. Test it out. We've got a month to test it. <laughs> yeah, let's do some homework. <laughs> oh, well, we could save that for week 69. We're on week 65 now, so maybe we should. Oh, well. <laughs> week <sure>. 69. <laughs> 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 Yeah. I'm disappointed you're the only one who saw that judge. <laughs> what 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 oh, was okay. oh I didn't see it. What well, happened? I just went, ah. oh. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> uh what's, what's your favorite, your favorite position, position is? <laughs> Someone types DNF <laughs> <laughs> Oh what about DNS? You <laughs> <laughs> did not start. <laughs> oh man. Well, that's for next time. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I can't wait. It's gonna be, be great. It's gonna be branded too hot for Twitch. Yeah, <laughs> too hot for Twitch. Disqualified. Oh. <laughs> there, there was there was one speed run I did of Crash Nitro Kart back years ago, where me and Emma were just talking about all sexual stuff and slagging each other off constantly for it. And it's on YouTube. It's like the too hot for Twitch <laughs> speed run. It's amazing. <laughs> That was really fun. We're gonna test all the positions to find the best to use for me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're gonna be showing God. us your spreadsheet. <laughs> Hello, I'm Brophy, my free two two, and I'm here to test. Oh, I can't. Oh, What's the line? God. I can't remember it. Uh, you, have to, you have to say it. <laughs> do the thing, Brophy. Do the thing. Hello, Damn. everyone. Damn. I'm Brophy1322, and in today's video, we're gonna find out the best sex positions to use for racing. <laughs> Oh, uh, I need to tell Zexy about uh, this. All right, now, fun, now I fun fact: though, Bruff's favorite sexual position is actually the spreadsheet. The spreadsheet. <laughs> <laughs> all right, now, now, if if someone donates sixty nine sixty nine, that's the sound bite. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, what have we oh done? My gosh, <laughs> oh, man! Wait, you had oh. me on the podcast, and I just talk about whatever. I have no boundary. <laughs> no boundaries. <laughs> oh man. Uh. <laughs> We're finding the fastest sex position around the track. <laughs> we, we, which gets, oh, which gets us there quickest. Well, the fa- you, it was, it's, I mean, the Surely the fastest ends up being the price. best. It yeah, was the highest <laughs> top speed. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. The positions anyone where she's in the driver's seat. No. <laughs> 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 Oh, this this will be fun. This will be a good time. Five runs for consistency. <laughs> Average <laughs> out the times. Uh, oh, God. <laughs> this took a turn. 
<laughs> was it a term for the worse or a term for the best? I think we'll find out later on when we've been able to digest it later <laughs> after a few hours. <laughs> I'll be really impressed if we put this on YouTube. <laughs> oh, it's going up on the podcast channel. Oh, um, 100%. Oh, yeah, the podcast channel. Yeah. We no, could put do it on that. the main channel. Come oh, on, no, I'm not totally putting it on the main channel. <laughs> <laughs> just have... Just have some random GTA 5 plate gameplay as the video instead of the... Oh, <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah, you should do stuff like the old card uh, YouTubers oh, used yeah. to do. They... I mean, I used just to do talk. that back in the early days. With the, just talk about random stuff. I, I did very few videos on it, but sometimes I would put up a random GTA 5 background when talking about like, oh, we're going to have a break now for a few weeks, but there's going to be videos going up. I'm just going away for a while. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, right. I gotta read out some uh, subscriptions and stuff, so I guess I'll I'll Get end the call for now. Jesus on. Christ. I mean I've done okay. we've done uh we've done marbles and everything, that's closed, so I'll I'll, I'll leave and then All I'll right. end the stream. Don't leave. <laughs> See you in a month when we talk about <laughs> <some> <laughs> other <laughs> deep rooted topic. Yeah, I'll do some circuit testing on my own and we'll uh, we'll, we'll, <laughs> we'll, we'll we'll compare spreadsheets. <laughs> All right. Catch you guys later. Bye. 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 See ya.